Hi guys and welcome back to my evilness podcast or to my evilness channel. Disclaimer, I mean absolutely no harm to anyone who may be mentioned in today's case. It is all information I have compiled via news articles and the internet, etc. and put together to tell you about the case today, which we will be talking about the true crime case of Oliver Stevens. Oliver Stevens was born on the 1st of November 2007. Affectionately known as Ollie, at 13, Ollie was described as a typical teenage boy who lived with his family in Reading, England in the UK. He was well liked but had a hard time in school. Ollie was diagnosed with autism and so had difficulty focusing and following instructions. But he had a charm about him and his loving nature made it hard for anybody to stay mad at him. The family lived in the quiet suburb of Emmergreen, where the crime rates were very low. However, violent crimes did seem to be increasing in the area. Actually, in many parts of the UK, a substantial rise in knife crimes have been reported, which is exactly as it sounds, it's a crime involving a knife. In the UK in 2019, 24 children under the age of 17 died from a knife injury. On the 3rd of January 2021, Ollie got a Snapchat message from a girl in his neighbourhood asking him to meet at Bugs Bottom Park, which was only a few minutes walk from his home. The park was not considered dangerous. It was a popular park for dog walkers, joggers and families. On this day, though, being that it was dark by 4pm, Ollie had no idea what was waiting for him. Two other boys, aged 13 and 14 at the time, were waiting to ambush Ollie. They stabbed him in the chest and back, ultimately killing Ollie. So how did this happen? Ollie had a girlfriend around the same age and they had what we'll call a difficult relationship. Her name cannot be mentioned due to her age. In the weeks before Ollie's killing, the couple had an argument after Ollie found out that his girlfriend had been sending photos to other boys. So instead of just breaking up or sorting things out, Ollie's girlfriend, and I use that term loosely, went to Snapchat to solve her problem. This 13-year-old girl took to her Snapchat story asking for someone to volunteer to do a job for her. She wanted to teach Ollie a lesson, shake him up real good, but make sure he came out alive. Her Snapchat story said, My boyfriend has been pissing me off lately, and yesterday he shouted at me for sending nudes to someone else. So I want to set him up and get him robbed or stabbed, but not killed, so just stab him in the hand or something to teach him a lesson. She said she would pay £154.94 or $291.48 Australian or $214.82 US. She wanted it done as soon as possible and she was willing to lure Ollie to a location so that it could happen. After this information came out, five teenagers were arrested for Ollie's murder, including his girlfriend. The other four were all boys. But as the investigation went on, two of these teens were cleared of any wrongdoing. The remaining three were charged. The effect Ollie's death had on the family and community was not helped by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The headmaster at Highdown School, where Ollie attended, Rachel Cave, said it was much harder to offer support to his fellow students and members of staff because of the lockdown restrictions. At Ollie's funeral on the 5th of February, his dad Stuart described how receiving that news from the police was the stuff of nightmares. On social media, Ollie's sister Amelia left a heartfelt message vowing to get justice for Ollie. opening for the prosecution, Alison Morgan QC said the defendants, who were pleading not guilty to murder but guilty to manslaughter, were motivated by perceived grievances against Ollie. 
Those grievances allegedly being that they believed that Ollie had told the brother of a boy they had been mocking in a group social media chat. The barrister said he was lured to the park by the girl as a part of a plan formulated in the days before the attack. Ollie was ambushed by the defendant, said Miss Morgan. He was physically attacked by the two boys while the girl stood nearby lending assistance by presence, she said. Miss Morgan stated this was not some kind of consensual fight, but a planned attack in which Ollie was vulnerable. She added that the defendants then fled the scene, deleting incriminating messages from their phones and disposed of the clothing they were wearing. Jurors were told the defendants had exchanged many messages on Snapchat in the days before the attack, some of which demonstrated hostility towards Ollie. These included a string of voice memos in which one of the boys said, I actually hate the kid with a passion, like if I was to see him right now, I'd probably end up killing him or something. Other messages mentioned the possession, handling and use of knives, the prosecution said. The court also heard that another girl was asked to be part of the setup, expressed concerns and said she did not want to be a part of a murder team. Nah, it's not a murder, one of the defendants allegedly replied. The girl involved in the attack said she wouldn't care if Ollie died according to a message sent to one of the attackers. On the morning of the attack, the 3rd of January, hostile messages between Ollie and one of the defendants were exchanged. Later that day, the girl was persistent in her efforts in trying to coax Ollie away from his house. CCTV showed one of the defendants leaving his home on an e-scooter as he travelled towards the park. More footage showed the boys meeting at a shop minutes before the attack. The trial was being held in special circumstances, with counsel removing their wigs and gowns due to the defendant's ages. The younger of the two boys also denied the charges for two counts of perverting the course of justice. The older boy denies his one count of the same charge, but pled guilty to the second. The two boys were found guilty, and the girl who earlier admitted to manslaughter will all be sentenced together at a later date. So that is the case for today. Thank you guys so much for listening. A like and subscribe would make you pretty amazing. I hope you have a great day and I will definitely get another one done sooner than it has been. I have just had heaps of shit going on. But yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.